uh, it, it is uh, our pleasure to uh, have Abror Pirnapasov from Ruhr University at Bochum that will talk about uh, rev orbits that force topological entropy. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for opportunity to talk here. Uh, my talk is about rev orbits that force topological entropy. All this joint work with Marcelo Alves, Umberto Hrenevich, and Pedro Salamao. I will start first kind of to give in intuition for topological entropy. And topological entropy is topological complex stocks of flow, uh, which is always non-negative number. And we are interested in positive topological entropy cases. Positive topological entropy is for sufficiently smooth flows on compact orient oriented three manifold is equivalent to existence of horseshoe as a flow subsystem. Or in other words, existence of homoclinic uh, periodic orbit. A uh, consequence of this is uh, number of periodic orbits grows exponentially with respect to the period. Now I will start to give kind of main results and motivation, then I will go to technical part. Uh, motivation comes from geodesic flow. We always assume like SG is closed Riemannian surface with Riemannian metric G. And the number proof, if you have any higher genus surface, then every geodesic flow on this higher genus surface has always positive topological entropy. And you know, if we have closed orientable surface, then up to classification, we have only three choice. Uh, higher genus or torus case or sphere. We know sphere and torus case standard metric it has always zero topological entropy. And then we need some condition to force topological entropy. And one of condition given by Denir and Mackay, if you take any Riemannian metric with close contractible geodesic, then geodesic flow has always positive topological entropy. Here, existence of this closed contractible geodesic kind of forces positivity of topological entropy. Here, if you take this closed contractible geodesic, then if you lift the unit tangent bundle, then you will get two periodic orbit. One is positive orientation direction and one is negative orientation di direction. We kind of see these two periodic orbit kind of forces topological entropy. Now, we will give this kind of notion for Reef flow category. We always assume like size closed orientable surface and transverse link is linked everywhere transverse to contact structure. Uh, transverse link forces topological entropy for every contact form, which this L as a periodic orbit has always topological entropy. Here, like if you choose any contact form, which this L if it is periodic orbit, then it has always positive topological entropy. This we say for topological entropy, for topological entropy. Now one can ask, does always exist this transverse links for every contact manifold? And answer is yes. For every contact three manifold, there exists transverse node, which forces topological entropy. Here, like, it doesn't depend contact structure, only this transverse node should be periodic orbit. Now we will give some first results about topological entropy for, for every real flows. We assume always uh, T1 as unit tangent bundle, and for every Riemannian metric, one can find contact form in unit tangent bundle. So I said geodesic flow of metric is rev flow of this contact form. And if you take kernel of this contact form, then you will get standard contact structure, new tangent bundle. And Macarini and Schlenk proved like generalization of Dinaburg's result for rev flow category. And if you take any, any higher genus surface and 
And if you see it is unit tangent bundle with standard contact structure, then every red flow on this contact manifold has always positive topological entropy. They used Lagrangian fluid homology and they showed exponential growth of Lagrangian fluid homology, this tangent fiber. And then they used Yomidin and they showed positivity of topological entropy. Uh, their result is for synfinity ref flows. Later, Marcel Alves proved it for C2 contact forms or C1 ref flows, and he used cylindrical contact homology and he showed exponential homotopical growth of cylindrical contact homology. We will come back to exponential homotopical growth later. We will use also this notion later. And if Dinaburg's result is true, then one can ask, can we generalize this generated Mackay's result to rate flow category? And we will try to do this for rate flow category. Uh, flat knot is in surface, is an immersed curve with only transverse self intersection. And we parameterize flat knot and we lift to unit tangent bundle with positive orientation and negative orientation. Here I gave like, like simple example, simple one. But if you take simple embedded like transverse knot, like contractible one, then unit tangent bundle, it will be in this form. Here above and below is identified like in unit tangent bundle. Then theorem says if you take any contractible flat knot in T2, then the union of these positive and negative these knots forces topological entropy in T3 with standard contact structure. I wrote here T3 because unit tangent bundle of T2 is T3. Uh, first of all, it is generalization of Denier and Mackay's theorem. I put here also. And also, this gives like infinitely many different transverse links in T T3 with standard contact structure, like which forces topological entropy. And also here it is like, it is geometrically, you can see how they are. Now, this is end of our kind of main results. Now we will give, we will move to technical part. And we will use cylindrical contact homology complement of the link. Cylindrical contact homology is like Morse like homology. We count pseudolomorphic curves instead of negative gradient flow lines. And in our situation, we will do everything complement of the link here, like cylindrical contact homology in homotopy class complement of the link. Shorter version, just to do this. Here we count cylinders with zero ciphering intersection number with trivial cylinder over the link. Like synthetization, you take this trivial cylinder and we count intersection number. And this first introduced by Al Momin, then improved by Hrnevich, Momin, and Salamov. Okay, now we will give technical theorem which used to prove this theorem stated above. If you take transverse link and if you have transverse link and contact form on contact three manifold, such that L is set of period orbits of lambda zero and lambda zero is hypertype complement of L. And cylindrical contact homology has a complement of link has exponential homotopical growth. Then transverse link forces topological entropy. Here again, for all lambda, which L is set of periodic orbits. Okay, now I will give definition of what is hypertite and what is cylindrical, like exponential homotopical growth. And hypertite is, first of all, we assume L is set of periodic orbits and Lambda is hypertite complement of L if first condition is if any disk in Y whose boundary is a component of L 
must have always interior intersection this L. And second condition is every ray orbit of lambda zero is non-contractible complement of the L. These two condition kind of helps us kind of bubbling of analysis. Like if you have these two conditions, then you don't have any bubbling. Because if you have bubbling, then it should have positive intersection with L and this case will not appear in this situation. And ex exponential homotopical growth. Here we count free homotopy classes. Here omega y minus L is free homotopy class of loops in complement of L. And we take subset with this T, which should satisfy these three condition. First condition is PL cell, PLC, which is kind of technical and I will not state. And second condition is every deep orbit in this of this lambda zero in this homotopy class, action smaller than T and cylindrical contact homology in given homotopy class is non-zero. And we, we will look this function and if it is positive, then we say cylindrical contact homology has exponential homotopical growth. We count, we count these homotopy classes and it should grow as a exponential at least superlum. And now we will try to sketch proof of theorem C. Here we can take lambda is f times lambda zero by Gray's theorem and assume A is exponential homotopical growth of the cylindrical contact homology for given lambda zero. First, we show that exponential homotopical growth of ref flow of lambda in complement of L. Here, for this lambda, maybe like cylindrical contact homology not defined. Here, just we grow, we see growth as just flow. Only we require the second condition, and instead of every, we ask exist, and we count these homotopy classes. And we can show that it is at least this number. And second step is kind of here we prove like if you have any non-singular flow in like compact manifold complement of L, and if it has exponential homotopical growth, then topological entropy bound from below with this number, like with this exponential growth. And this theorem only requires uh, C2 regularity from contact form or C1 regularity from reef flow. And now I will move to like, I'll, and this theorem, we will, up, we will show how we can apply this theorem C to, to prove theorem A. And here I stated again theorem A, like every context three manifold, they exist transverse not which forces topological entropy. We know, we know that every context three manifold, they exist open with decomposition. Moreover, open with decomposition can be chosen, binding is connected and monodromy map is pseudo also. And also we know if you, take, if you have two contact structures supported by diffeomorphic open books, then they are also diffeomorphic. It is enough to prove theorem D instead of theorem A because we have this, this Giroux, Colon, and Fondas theorem, which says if you have open book decomposition which supports contact three manifold and whose boundary, like, Binding is connected and monodromy maps pseudon also. Then one can construct another one, which is diffeomorphic to this old one and also supports contact manifold and who is bound binding for topological entropy. What we do, we take this phi and 
we make it is identity near to boundary and we we leave to mapping tori and then perturb it a uh, little bit far from the boundary to make it non-degenerate and glue from outside uh, the solid torus and we will get uh, some special contact form and it has a bunch of properties. Uh, we will use certain amounts of noise, certain amounts of condition to get these properties. More than this, just I wrote two of them. Here, like three homotopy classes of loops in complement of link, which they are like, it contains all the non degenerate orbits, these actions smaller than T, and contains odd number of reg orbits. And number of these homotopy classes grows exponentially with respect to the T. Okay. One, first of all, what we do, we show cylindrical contact homology is well defined and it satisfies all conditions of TRMC uh, for non zeroness of cylindrical contact homology. We need this second condition, uh, it's like on odd number of periodic orbits. We just if you have odd number of periodic orbits, then it should have it should be non zero homology. Then it will show exponential homotopy growth of uh, like cylindrical contact homology complement of the link. I think I was a little bit fast and I finished. Okay, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Um, so, uh, of course, uh, the, you, you can still keep it, yes, uh, exactly. Uh, can keep it up. So, uh, any questions, uh, feel, feel free to ask. Uh, Egor, you're still here, I guess, right? Uh, no, because he has a problem with his uh, uh, link. I mean, uh, all right. So sorry if I if I understand the, the the growth is in in the homotopy classes on which you have non-zero homology. Yes, yes, non-zero cylindrical contact homology. Yes. Yes. And also, it should satisfy this PLC condition. It's kind of. So all these homologies don't 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 speak to each other, right? It's just a direct sum for each homotopy. Yes, 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 yes. Cylinders and both sides will be same homotopy classes. Here, homology only in this homotopy class. So can you see the horseshoe? In this proof, uh, like can you can uh, you see the horseshoe? No. No, what we do just we show like topological way, we show like this balls growth exponential, this separating balls expon growth exponential. Just we use like kind of this topological definition of topological entropy. We use this epsilon, epsilon separating balls growth exponential. Right, right. But I mean a posteriori we know there there's a horseshoe uh, in there somewhere. Yes, uh, we cannot see. Horseshoe is important because you will get some hyperbolicity in your flow. Maybe it's not so big, but you will get. So for even even in this example of um, of when you're saying in the torus when you have a contractible geodesic, yes. Can 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 at least can you see the horseshoe there? Like where? Uh, no. We don't see because it could stay somewhere else because this contact form changes always and we know exists somewhere but we don't know where it is. Thanks. Thank you. So everything is three-dimensional, right? Uh, yes. 
everything is three dimension and I also stated your old theorems like only three dimension like because it was also higher dimension and just I kept on three dimension. But, so is higher dimension for forcing hopeless or do you don't have the techniques? Is uh, it just not true or? I think one problem is this link is kind of one dimension and if you go to two n plus one one dimension then you have to ask this forcing for 10 minus one subspaces because kind of you have to define mm. this cylindrical contact homology and you can define if it is kind of 10 minus one dimension this complement mm. what you take complement kind of this here is just link is one dimension sure uh, can you find new examples of metrics on Tori where you can say for sure that uh, topological entropy is positive? Uh, sorry, uh, once more again. So, so, so can, you, uh, can you indicate a specific example of a metric of torus, a two dimensional torus? Where mm -hmm. your result yields positive topological entropy, but your early result kind of do not do not yield it. I mean, there uh, are some interesting examples, so to say. Right. Like yeah. uh, also this result, this Denyurent Mackay. Also here, I stated only this existence of contractible geodesic, but. This Gerhard Knieper and Eva Glachmacher, they showed if you have zero entropy, it is almost integrable. Like you have foliation of torus, and somewhere you have kind of elliptic eye. Except this situation, then everything has positive topological entropy. Like if you have periodic, like orbit even, which has contractible loop, then it has positive entropy. Even if it has some contractible loop, just contracted, then it has positive topological entropy. Even if you have flow, who is kind of one orbit is kind of bounded in compact set in universal core. If it just stays some compact set, then it has also positive topological entropy. Or more, like if you have orbit which goes infinity and comes back like oscillates, it has also positive topological entropy in universal core. Like only so here is a specific question. So assume that you have your torus, yes. which you think about it is about square embedded into R3, and so then you extend by periodicity. And you make a little bump, like say, uh, yes. especially symmetric in the middle. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, I mean, the picture is, I mean, what we know that if bump is very large, so then all tori, uh, Kolmogorov tori disappear kind of, and uh, picture is more or less similar to, uh, to puncture torus, to kind of hyperbolic situation. But can you prove for some specific size of the bump by using your method that topological entropy is positive? Because actually establishing existing of contractible orbit is not so simple, right? Mm -hmm. I'll learn uh, you. Maybe yes. Marcelo will answer this question. So, in this case, so that there is this paper where you consider a bump with a certain uh, size. Yeah. In this case, I think we can prove that uh, you have also a contractible geodesic. Yes, for large size, it's true. It's yes. even clear how to find it. Yeah, but if the size is not very, very large, it's still, I mean, mm, uh, and, I mean, you see, Kolmogorov uh, uh, Tori probably disappear very more or less immediately. Yeah, so, uh, at least some of them. So, so then you you expect that between the Tori you have chaotic layer, which creates positive topological entropy. And it would be interesting. I mean, if this uh, very nice techniques give some down to earth kind of examples. I mean, uh, so far we still don't know a good model to deal with these situations. We are, right, uh, to see which would be the, in this case you're saying, you have some tori that survive, but there are some, 
but there are orbits in the middle of this Kolmogorov tau right that could force yeah, entry. So, okay, so here kind of everything is difficult. So there is missing uh, classification of integrable systems on non two dimensional toroid, but there is a very good conjecture. Yeah, and so according to this conjecture, even a little bump will kill integrability. Right, so, so 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 then you expect gaps between Kolmogorov toroids. So they, of course, I mean, for small bumps, they persist. But in these gaps, according to general ideology, there should be chaotic behavior in the gaps. And so then, then interesting question is whether methods of symplectic topology can establish this for some specific sizes. Yeah. So obviously, I mean, if size is very large, so then you can just look at a loop going around two bumps in the universal cover, and I mean, it will give you some some geodesic. But uh, if bumps are smaller, kind of, then the uh, relative distance between them. So then I think this argument kind of does not work. I don't know. It's a difficult question, of course. All right. Um, thank you again, uh, Abroad, for your talk. So, uh, of course, if there are more questions, don't hesitate. I mean, we still have about five minutes. I mean, uh, I want also to thank uh, all the other speakers. It's a difficult exercise to give a zoom in R with uh, 20 minutes and it's a bit sharper, like uh, the bounds are sharper than usually. But thank you very much. I want to thank you people for uh, everyone for, uh, for showing up.